Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I've made this card using up some gel prints from my stash and using some gorgeous stamps from Rubber Dance. I've got this lovely mark making stamp set and then I've got these gorgeous sketchy birds and I really fell in love with these when I saw them, hence the purchase. So uh, in today's video, we're going to get a chance to use them. These are the uh, packet names, uh, so sketchy birds and mix it up number one. So here's some gel prints that I've got in my stash. Uh, they've been in my stash for a while. I'm not really sure how to use them. Uh, they weren't particularly ones that I liked very much. So, but it's a shame to throw them away. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I turn them into a card. I've got this panel of white cardstock that's cut to four inches squared. I've just brought in my non-stick mat, and then I've got some multi-medium matte um, gel medium, which I'm going to just add on with a paintbrush. And all we're going to do is tear the gel prints up in bits and adhere those down using the multimedia mat. There really is no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm adding these down. I'm just looking for lots of contrast of colour and making sure that um, the same colours are not really overlapping each other. Um, so I'm just kind of picking bits out from the gel prints that I really like. I'm tearing the edges as well because I don't want it to be uh, particularly neat. Um, I just want it to kind of have that... Um, mixed media vibe to it. So when I'm adding the um, gel prints down, I'm also going over the top with some matte medium as well, and that will just seal them in. So once I've done that, I'm going to put that aside to dry, and I've got a scrap of cardstock here. This is watercolour cardstock, and it's uh, Buckingford cardstock um, that I'm using today. It's just a scrap that I've had in my stash, and I'm going to stamp out one of the birds on it. I'm using Versafine um, Twilight ink today, so that's like a blue. Um, it's a really dark, deep blue, and it just makes a change from black. We're going to be using some black stamping later on, but I really liked the bird um, in blue. It just was quite, just slightly softer than black. So as you can see, um, they stamp beautifully, um, really crisp, crisp image, so uh, there were no issues with stamping. And to colour today, I'm going to be using my watercolour uh, pan set from Windsor & Newton. And then I've got a Princeton Round uh, number 4 brush. Really, whatever you've got in your stash, however you like to colour. I am not an expert with watercolours, but I like the fact that I can just get colour down really quickly. So first of all, I've covered the bird in a thin layer of water. And then I'm just going to go in with this green colour. It's a really vibrant green. And I'm just slowly adding that around the edges and then I'm coming in the center with some yellow. And because there's already water on the cardstock, the colors flow into each other really nicely. But you'll see in a moment when I go to add a darker color to the wings, because the green is not dry yet, when I add it to the wing on the right, it floods into the, into the green. So to rectify that, because it's watercolor, you can just quickly dab it off with some tissue as I do here. And then I can go back in and add some more green and then I can go back in later and add some um, of that like purpley grey colour. Um, as you can see, I'm really impatient. So then it bleeds again. But you could wait for the layers to dry or if you're really careful with um, where the water is, is um, you might be able to control it a little bit better than I'm doing here. But as you can see, watercolours are really forgiving. So you can easily go back in and rectify your mistakes. And again, sometimes you can just go back in with a wet paintbrush and kind of pull some of that colour out. So I've waited for it to dry and I'm just going back in now again with some more of this darker colour. Um, then once that's dried and once the matte medium has dried with the gel prints, we can then carry on putting the card together. So I'm just going to fussy cut the bird out and I'm using my cutter B scissors. The best thing to do when fussy cutting is to turn the paper, not the scissors. So just keep moving that paper around. The Bockingford watercolour cardstock is quite thick, so it's a little bit tricky to fussy cut around these feet. Um, it's perhaps a little bit easier on a slightly lighter weight cardstock, but um, it's fine. These cutter B scissors are really great for fussy cutting, so I'm able to get into those small areas. So next, I'm going to bring back in the Mix It Up stamp set and we're going to add some marks to the gel print background that we've created. So for this, I'm going to be using the Versafine Onyx Black ink. Uh, I want some really crisp black stamping on the background and this just um, is the best ink for that. It's really solid black colour. 
So I'm going in with that lovely circle stamp there and then I'm going to go back in with some mark making stamps. And again, there's not really any rhyme or reason to ha why I'm doing it this way or how I'm doing it this way. That's kind of just the fun of mixed media, just playing with what you've got and making marks. And I do kind of like going from corner to corner or staggering thing in, things in threes or fives and just to, to make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. But it really doesn't matter. You, you can just stamp however you want. That is the joy of mixed media. And it's really just about creating and having fun with your supplies. So there's a really good variety of stamps in this mark making set. Um, like, for example, this one with the numbers on, I'm able to just use my finger and um, repeat stamp that across the background to give a really subtle text effect. And I love the fact that you've kind of got a stitch stamp and some numbers and text. And yeah, it's it's really kind of very versatile. So once the Versamark black ink has dried, I'm then coming in with my Tim Holtz long bladed scissors and I'm just trimming off the excess of the gel prints there so that we've got a nice neat square. Then I've got a square of black cardstock, which is four and a quarter squared. And I'm just going to attach the gel print uh, background that we created to that black uh, cardstock. Uh, I'm just using some quick grab glue today. Uh, this is the Cosmic Shimmer glue and I'm just going to attach that down. Uh, it takes a moment just to make sure that it's nice and flat and flush. Uh, I like to make sure that I've got a nice even border around my layer. And then once that's in place, I'm going to add a little sentiment. I've printed these off from my computer. Uh, so I just typed them up in a Word document and printed them. And this one today says bold, bright and beautiful. And I'm just going to go in with a Posca pen and just add the comma uh, back in after bold. So once I've done that, I'm going to bring in the other elements that I'm going to add to the card. So first of all, I'm going to attach it down to a card blank. This is a shop bought six by six. And I'm just adding some foam pads to the back of that. And uh, we're going to attach it to the very center of the card, um, of the card blank. So once that's stuck down and I'm happy that it's central, I'll give it a push down. And then I've got some white cotton thread. This is just going to add an extra little bit of interest and I'm going to pop the bird up on some foam pads as well. So I'm just checking that I'm catching the area that's going to sit over the gel print because uh, it's going to be slightly off centre. And then I'm going to stick that down. The only other thing I'm going to do to the card just to finish it off for today is to add some white splatters using a Posca pen. And then once I've done that, the card is finished. So I'm going to add some close-up photos of this card at the end of the video and also some close-up photos of some other cards that I've made using exactly the same technique. So thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And please let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this a technique that you would try to use up some of your gel prints? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So thank you so much. Take care.